Welcome back to yet another episode of the Skill Move tutorial series where I show you how, where and when to perform a skill move in FIFA 22 today. We're learning a classic, it's the Elastico. What a nightmare it was last year in FIFA 21. Three men, three men around him to somehow find some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. He's really going for him. Oh! It's a absolutely ridiculous. The Elastico on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about this in FIFA, he's not here to make up the numbers. The Elastico can be performed with the right analog stick and basically what you're what you're wanting to do is enter in at a three o'clock angle to where the player is facing and then rotate all the way around to six o'clock so it's entering in at the side to the right of where the player is facing you are then rotating all the way around to the bottom which is obviously six o'clock if it were to be on the clock and you're rotating at a clockwise you know motion okay and the player will perform the elastico with this now it is a five star skill move but as you guys would have remembered from last year my god was it overpowered however this year i mean is it as good that's debatable but that's what we're going to leave for the next segment. The Elastico. What a versatile skill move this is. You can pretty much use it anywhere on the pitch. I wouldn't recommend using it in the midfield as much as on the wing and inside the bots, especially in the bots. I really do find this is very, very good in terms of, you know, catching your opponent off guard and creating space to get that angle to get that shot off, okay? But that sort of branches off into the next segment of when to use it. But what I will say is it's very good to use on the wing for even cutting inside, quickly hitting them with the elastic to create that angle inside to make a pass and make a play. In the midfield, as I said, you can use it, but I wouldn't recommend using it as much. You may be able to use it to sort of burst off into some space that may be available in the midfield, but it's not like last year. It's not as quick. It's not as nifty, so you're kind of limited this year, but I do still recommend using this with your five-star skillers. The best time for me, I find, is pretty much when you are one-on-one -on -one with your opponent. Because it's quick, you're able to dart off into the left, okay? And you're able to leave your opponent, you know, catch your opponent off guard and it's quite hard to defend against if they don't read this skill move okay another time to use it is pretty much when you are not directly side by side with your opponent's defender they're to the side and a little bit in front of you you can use it then because obviously if they're side by side with you and you hit them with the elastico you're going to do it into the actual defender itself and then you're probably going to end up getting tackled but when they're a little bit of a distance from you they're still on the side but they're a little bit ahead of you that's when you should use it because you can actually use this to then cut inside as I was saying before and find that pass and make a play, okay? So really, it's those two times. It's when you want to really beat that defender in the bot and you're one-on-one -on -one with them to create that angle or it's basically when you want to cut inside, okay? And he's not quite next to you but he's also quite close to you and you want to beat him. It's what I find is the best time to use it. My rating today for this skill move or this year is probably around a 3.5 to 4 out of 5 stars, okay? Last year, it would have got a five out of five from myself but this year i'm looking at around a four star out of five in terms of my rating you guys should definitely still use this skill mode but that will signal the end of the episode i hope you enjoyed it can we drop a like can we subscribe and go and check out my instagram and tiktok i'm also doing tutorials over there in a quick snapshot for you guys you can watch them over there also and also watch them on youtube which is very good so be sure to go and check them out but uh, as always I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara. Au revoir. Adios. And goodbye.